What's up, YouTube? I am back with another video. I'm going to tip to learn a backflip within a month. The rest of the month of November, I'm going to get a backflip down and I'm going to show you guys the journey. I think I got it. All right, so we're at the destination right now. Drive your knees up, okay. I'm actually a little nervous. Oh shit, oh shit, hold on, hold on. Oh, my back, I'm seeing stars. Hold on, don't think about it, don't think about it, don't think about it, don't. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, I think I can get this down in about a week. All right, y'all, check this out. So, I guess I'm more afraid of going backwards than I, than I thought. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I think I can get this down in about a week. My, my confidence just like, Phew. All right, so day one went pretty successful. I thought I did a pretty good job. I thought I did a pretty good job for someone who never tried to do a backflip off a trampoline. So this is day two. I'm in the same location as you guys can see. Just keep watching. Don't worry about this part, but keep watching. I promise you it gets better, so. Day two is a bit of a disappointment, man. I've really, I made a little bit of progress. Bro, my wrist is hurting, back is hurting. I wanna do it within a week, but we'll see. So as you guys can see, a light bulb finally went off in my head. I decided to stay inside where it was warmer and I had a lot more cushion. Everything was going well until I hit that mental roadblock. Ah, but you know what? I didn't give up. Roll to the next clip. I know it's not the prettiest, but most importantly, I did not injure my neck. For two, I was so excited, I looked like the theater thug. But then I realized I still was not making much progress. So you know what I did? Today, I'm going to hit up a trampoline park. I wonder if they'll let me record there. Hmm. So after I got warmed up for a bit over hitting sky hooks and stuff like that or whatnot, I started really focusing on my form. I thought about going like off the bat into the foam pit. I'm trying to learn how to do it now on the solid ground. On the solid ground, get something a little more. A little more. Would you go off your toes or? Yeah. All right, let me try. Oh. oh, there you go. Oh, I think I can land that. Yeah, that was it right there. Oh, shit. I can't tuck. Like, how you tuck, how you I can't back handspring. What you did earlier? Yeah. I tried that, I bounced on my face. Yeah, I bounced on my face, but y'all don't need to worry about that footage. Continue on. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Shout out to the people that work at Defy Nashville, man. They they were they were really big help. They gave me a lot of good pointers and stuff. Everybody in there was athletes and all that, man. I'm gonna leave the pages down low in the comments. Two guys and one one girl. I didn't get the girl's uh, information. I got comfortable enough to why I didn't need the trampoline, but I did go on this. It was a slight buoyancy mat.
Alright man, that's going to do it for this for this portion of the video, man. This is going to be the first half. I feel like I'm on a really great track. So I know how to do a backflip on trampoline comfortably. comfortably. I know how to do a backflip on the mat comfortably. Now I just got to be comfortable with doing a backflip on the ground. So I did learn how to do a backflip before December. Just wasn't on ground, but I am. I do want to learn it on ground, man. I'm about to, y'all, y'all about to see me do like some crazy freak of nature things. You guys stay tuned for the next video. Got something else fun coming up this upcoming Friday. Till then, stay tuned. Be on the lookout. I might post a short. I might post a short and spoil. Hint at something. You guys, I don't know. So you guys stay tuned. Everybody stay blessed. Stay happy, follow your dreams, follow your passion, and yeah.